play action. Young to the block. Crabtree. He struggled last week. Adoree Jackson is there. And the gain is a good one with 21 yards on that pickup. Put him to the 27. This is a really nice route by Crabtree. He's going to start to the post, and he works back to the boundary. This is a two-man route. This is a maximum protection. They're going to keep eight in. Flacco loves the play-action shots on first and ten. You see that rain come down. Collins in the backfield. Collins was in. Flacco got him. Crabtree won a move. Wheels and deals near the five. Butler brings him out. And Crabtree, who was the GOAT last week with drops and maybe a possible game-winning catch in the end zone, comes up with a big 27-yard catch there. Just watch this. He's good. He wants to throw the ball to Snead, and then he's not there, and he works all the way back. Watch Flacco's eyes. He's working to his right. He wants to throw Snead. They double Snead. He's able to peel off late. Look at Flacco's eyes. He's starting to his right. He wants to throw the angle route to Willie Snead. It's not there. This is a veteran quarterback who's been in the system and, and knows where the... Flacco. Caught for a touchdown. Crabtree. Four-yard strike. And a first-quarter touchdown. This is the best thing that Crabtree does. He's, he's able to use his height, his size, and his ability to adjust to these back shoulder throws. Flacco, the timing there is excellent. They go after the corner, Malcolm Butler, who has really struggled the first five weeks of the seasons for the Titans. It's a big addition in free agency, but he is not fenced. This would be a great place for a sack or a turnover. Allen in, into the nickel, third and ten, Flacco. Crabtree. Got it. Right in front of Logan Ryan. 19-yard pickup on third and ten to put him at the 36. What was the talk all week about Crabtree and the drops last week? Look at this catch. Look at the concentration on the boundary from Michael Crabtree. I think he gets both Woo. feet in bounds. He does. Again, they're continuing to go after Malcolm Butler, who has struggled the first five weeks. Challenge on the Tennessee sideline if it was in. Tennessee is challenging the ruling of the field of a completed pass. Oh, my gosh. We'll review the play. Yes. A great concentration there. We'll be back in 30 seconds after this from Payne's possession. Better look at it from this angle. Yeah, much better right there. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. It is a catch. Control of the ball. Two feet inbounds. Tennessee will be charged with their second. What did Marty Morningwick tell us last night? He said, for us to get where we want to go, Crabtree has to be really good for us. He has big play potential. And... For whatever reason, he just had some struggles last week against the Browns. He's been brilliant today. This is the two-minute Touchdown warning. pass to Crabtree, 13-yard touchdown run by Collins. Four possessions, four punts by Tennessee. Two-minute warning. On Broadway here in Nashville back this weekend. Vandy was home, Titans home, second down. Long six, two-minute warning, Flacco. Deep and looking for Crabtree. And that ball may have been jarred away. Knocked away by the two-time pro bowler, Malcolm Butler. It's incomplete. It's fourth down. Boy, they're going after Malcolm Butler, aren't they? Good release by Crabtree. And really good throw by Flacco. Butler just at the very end, I think, gets that hand in. Look at these numbers, Kevin. I mentioned that the struggles that this guy has had, especially in man-to-man -man coverage. You can cut that. The only reason there's some mud on that jersey is from him sliding. Knock out and he's in. Third and seven. And the <laughs> grab three. And completed the 25. Average across the way by Malcolm Bubble. So here comes the punting unit. Sam Cook for the Ravens. Some gold right there. And Every time I see Crabtree wear that gold, I think of <laughs> think of the Denver game. Was it a keep to leave? Keep to leave, and not once, but twice. Yes. Remember? We did a Raiders left corner. Flacco easily. Oh, a nice catch there by Crabtree. If he was in flag thrown, as you saw. Mark him out at the 35. 17-yard pickup as it stands. Working on the secondary. 
Crookshank along with Butler. A little push right there to create some separation. You see that? Illegal use Subtle. of hands, hands to the face. Number 21, defense. That penalty's declined. Result of the play, first down. And, you know, Butler's been struggling a little bit this season, Rich. That's a 17-yard pickup. Teams are going after him, Kevin. Yeah, they are. I mean, you look at, you mentioned the struggles, and now he's coming out of the game. Crab three, five catches, 89 yards. Four-yard touchdown pass. And had some heat. The shoulders of Joe Flacco. Just go out and play, not worry about scoring a lot of points. First and ten throw outside. Crabtree got it. As the fake went to Buck Allen. And he picks up four in the play just to finish up that third down. Difficult time stretching the field. That was offside. There's a throw. Crabtree working on Butler on that first and 20. Twenty-nine runs today, thirty-four passes today for Baltimore. Offside. Defense. From Daquan Jones. Correction, false start. Number eighty-seven. Offense. Wow. Five yard penalty. Remains first down. That is on Max Williams, the tight end. Against Denver and Pittsburgh in Cleveland last week. So they played well three of the last four weeks. They're going to win here today with a shutout over Tennessee. Baltimore on third down today was 12 of 17. Flacco was 25 of 37.